In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an improved souffle. So in the first video, I made a souffle in which the only ingredient was one egg. And in this video, uh, I'm going to take and improve on that by including a little bit of uh, flour and a little bit of water in the souffle uh, that will strengthen the, uh, the protein network. So once you get a, a puffed uh, souffle, it's going to uh, stay that way when you start eating it. Uh, so we're going to begin by preheating our oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And then preparing our souffle dish. Now, uh, last time I only used one egg. Uh, this time, however, uh, I'm having breakfast. And I, I wanted to have three eggs. And these uh, ramekins, they're actually about the right size for one and a half eggs. So I'm going to have two ramekins with three eggs. To prepare my souffle dish, <clears throat> I'm going to put a light coating of uh, this coconut oil. You can use butter as well, or any any solid uh, any solid fat. Put a thin layer on the outside, and then coat the exterior with flour. Take down, put a little bit of flour in. And I run the flour around the edges. You wind up with kind of a thick coating and you have to then tap these to turn a thick coating into a thin coating of flour. So I'm going to do the, this last one over top of the sink. Okay, so second light coating. Let's set those aside. And now I'm going to prepare the eggs, a large bowl and a small bowl, whites are going in the large bowl, and yolks are being separated into the, the small bowl. Okay, so I've got the yolks and the whites separated. And first I'm going to prepare the yolks. Uh, the yolks are where the flavor go. Uh, it's also the, the place we're going to put thickening. So for three eggs, I'm going to put in half teaspoon flour. Half a 
teaspoon of flour. And then with that, I'm also going to put in one, two, three, four half teaspoons or two teaspoons of water. And you need that because the uh, we're going to beat the flour to activate the uh, to activate the uh, gluten, and then we need the liquid to uh, to lighten it up some. And then I'm also going to put in flavoring, and I I like I I like mustard a lot, so I'm going to put in half a teaspoon mustard and some mustard powder. Put in a pinch of kosher salt. A little bit of black pepper. And I also have grown to like this uh, habanero lime mixture. So I'm going to put just a little bit of that as well. Okay, so now we take, we're going to beat this mixture until it becomes I guess I call it gravy like almost. Now in the traditional souffle recipes you have to make a roux and in the roux you take flour and milk or flour and water and sorry an oil sorry flour and oil and uh, Brown that just slightly, make a blonde brew, put some flour in there, or sorry, put some milk in there as well, and you make the uh, white sauce. And in doing that, you activate the, you activate the flour. What I've been finding is that I can do very similar, simply mechanically, and then using a, a high temperature uh, bake cycle. This is about the same consistency as just plain yolks. Remember the first video, but it's a little more satiny, a little more gravy-like. I would describe it as, and that's because the uh, the flour is doing its thing. So we'll set that aside, and now turn our attention to the whites. So the whites are going to beat. I'm going to put just a splash of uh, white vinegar in these. This is, you know, at the most, you know, half a teaspoon to three quarter teaspoon for three whites, and, and this this will help uh, with the uh, getting the meringue going. So we're going to whip this consistently and try to get a uh, soft peaks, a little on the soft side. I've found that that uh, overbeating the whites results in a uh, souffle that is a little bit too stiff. There, soft peaks, but on the on the soft end. It's so a great. We got that. Now let's take our yolk mixture, and we're gonna put about one third to one half of our whites in the yolk. I give that a stir. goal is to get some air into the yolk content so that we can then fold them together. Okay, that's looking good. So 
And now we put our fluffy yolks into the, into the whites. Now we're just gonna fold this until they're barely combined. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So about about that was about thirteen, about thirteen uh, stirs. So now we're gonna fill the ramekins. all the egg out because this is my breakfast. Okay, so now we're going to take these. Let's get a clean edge. And we're going to put these in the oven 400 degrees for 10 minutes on the the bottom rack. Alexa, set a timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, starting now. Alexa, dismiss. This, this is a beautiful souffle. Got a nice, nice lot of a lofting to it. You listen, hear that? Delicate, beautiful, crispy surface. The interior is uh, fluffy, moist. Mmm. Mmm, that is fantastic. It's like eating air. And even down to the bottom of the souffle, it's good. We've got a little bit of a uh, little bit of a, a fluid sauce. I don't call it fluid. Let's call it uh, souffles are supposed to have a slightly runny texture on the bottom. Uh, instead, the souffles make their own sauce. This one doesn't have a lot. So you could probably go with less than 10 minutes if you wanted a slightly runnier eggs, uh, or you could uh, cook it an extra minute if you wanted them more firm. But uh, 10 minutes at 400 degrees seems just about right. Uh, and notice that they, they keep their uh, they keep their loft even as you, you work on them. And that's because we've got the flour in there that's uh, it's gluten is uh, holding us together. And this, this is great. So, mm. so this is a big improvement on the you know world's simplest souffle that I posted, but it, it's not really a, a significant uh, increase in, in cost or time. So small changes can lead to, to large changes in the overall performance. So with that, I'm going to have my breakfast, and thank you very much for your time and support.